Self-Help TV features top 10 ways to fall asleep fast. Do you get enough sleep on a regular basis? Do you have a hard time sleeping at night? Do you know what your body and mind will go through if you don't get enough sleep? This video outlines how much sleep you need each night, why it's vital to get enough sleep, and how to fall asleep quickly. Let's check it out. How much sleep do you need? Most adults require 7 or more hours of good quality sleep every night on a regular basis. It's not just about the number of hours of sleep you get. It's also crucial to obtain enough sleep on a regular basis so you feel refreshed when you wake up. How much sleep do kids require? Sleep is much more important for children than it is for adults. Teenagers require 8 to 10 hours of sleep per night. School-aged youngsters require between 9 and 12 hours of sleep per night. Preschoolers require between 10 and 13 hours of sleep per day, including naps. Toddlers require between 11 and 14 hours of sleep per day, including naps. Babies require between 12 and 16 hours of sleep per day, including naps. Newborns require 14 to 17 hours of sleep per day. What are the benefits of getting adequate sleep? Getting enough sleep has numerous advantages. It can assist you in the following ways. Number 1. Get ill less frequently. Number 2. Maintain a healthy body weight. Number 3. Reduce your chances of developing significant health problems such as diabetes and heart disease. Number 4. Lower your stress levels and boost your mood. Number 5. Improve your school and work performance by thinking more clearly. Number 6. Improve your interpersonal relationships. Some folks have no trouble sleeping. Many others, on the other hand, have a tough time falling and keeping asleep throughout the night. Sleep deprivation can harm many aspects of your body and brain, including learning, memory, temperament, emotions, and biological functioning. The following are the top 10 ways to fall asleep quickly. Number 1. Lower the thermostat. As you sleep, your body temperature varies. When you lie down, your body cools down, and when you get up, it warms up. You can have trouble falling asleep if your room is too hot. It may be beneficial to set your thermostat to a chilly temperature of 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit, 15.6 to 19.4 degrees Celsius. Individual preferences will differ, so figure out what temperature suits you best. Taking a warm bath or shower might also assist the body's temperature fluctuations go more quickly. As your body cools down thereafter, your brain may receive a signal to sleep. According to one study, taking a hot bath or shower before bed can improve key sleep metrics including sleep efficiency and quality. Number 2. Practice the 478 breathing technique. Dr. Andrew Weil's 478 breathing method is a simple yet effective breathing technique that promotes peace and relaxation. It might also help you relax before going to bed. It comprises of a breathing rhythm that soothes the nervous system and is based on breath control skills gained from yoga. It can be used if you are anxious or stressed. The steps are as follows. Step number one. Place the tip of your tongue behind your top front teeth for the first time. Step number two. Make a whoosh sound by totally exhaling through your mouth. Step number three. Close your mouth and count to four while inhaling through your nose. Step number four. Take a deep breath and mentally count to seven. Step number five. Exhale thoroughly via your mouth, generating a whoosh sound and mentally counting to eight. Last step. Repeat this process at least three times more. This method can help you relax and fall asleep easily. Number 3. Establish a routine. Many people find that sticking to a sleep routine makes it easier to fall asleep. The circadian rhythm is your body's natural regulation system. This internal clock tells your body that it should be attentive throughout the day and asleep at night. Keeping your internal clock on a regular schedule can be as simple as waking up and going to bed at the same times each day. It will be easy to fall asleep and wake up at the same time every day after your body has adjusted to this schedule. Finally, 
Set aside 30 to 45 minutes in the evening to unwind before going to bed. This allows your mind and body to unwind and prepare for sleep. Number 4. Get a taste of both brightness and darkness. Your body's internal clock, which controls sleep and wakefulness, can be influenced by light. Circadian cycles can be disrupted by irregular light exposure, making it more difficult to go asleep and stay awake. Exposing your body to intense light during the day tells it to stay attentive. This effect is present in both natural daylight and artificial light, such as that provided by an e-reader. The darkness encourages tiredness at night. In fact, studies reveal that darkness increases the production of melatonin, a sleep hormone. During the day, the body produces very little melatonin. Get outside and expose your body to bright light, either natural or artificial, throughout the day. Use blackout curtains to make your room dark at night if possible. Number 5. Don't look at your watch. Getting up in the middle of the night is common. Inability to go back asleep, on the other hand, might ruin a good night's sleep. People who wake up in the middle of the night are prone to obsessing over the fact that they are unable to get back asleep. People who suffer from sleeplessness are prone to clock watching. This activity may induce anxiety due to a lack of sleep. Worse, waking up without falling back asleep on a frequent basis may force your body to adopt a rhythm. As a result, you may wake up in the middle of the night on a regular basis. Remove the clock from your room if at all feasible. If you need an alarm in your room, you can set your clock so that you don't have to look at it when you wake up in the middle of the night. Number 6. Don't take naps during the day. People with insomnia are drowsy throughout the day as a result of their poor nighttime sleep, which typically leads to daytime napping. While short duration naps have been related to increased alertness and well-being, perspectives on the impact of napping on nighttime sleep are divided. According to several research, taking long, at least two hours, and late naps on a regular basis might contribute to poor nighttime sleep quality and even sleep deprivation. In a study of 440 college students, those who reported having three or more naps per week, those who napped for more than two hours, and those who napped late had the worst nighttime sleep quality. If you want to see if naps are hurting your sleep, consider cutting them out completely or limiting yourself to a short nap, 30 minutes or less, early in the day. Number 7. Keep track of what you eat and when you eat it. It appears that the food you eat before going to bed has an impact on your sleep. High-carb meals, for example, have been found in studies to be detrimental to getting a decent night's sleep. According to a review of studies, while a high-carb diet can help you fall asleep sooner, it won't be comfortable sleep. High-fat meals, on the other hand, may encourage a deeper and more peaceful sleep. In fact, several older and newer studies have found that a high-carb or low-fat diet reduces sleep quality when compared to a low-carb or high-fat diet. This was true in cases when the high-carb or low-fat and low-carb or high-fat diets both had the same number of calories. If you insist on eating a high-carb meal for evening, do it at least 4 hours before bedtime to provide time for digestion. Number 8. Put on some soothing music. Music has been shown to increase sleep quality considerably. It can even be used to treat insomnia and other persistent sleep disorders. Sedative music was found to induce deeper sleep in a study of 24 young adults. Another 50-person study discovered that those who listened to soothing music for 45 minutes before night slept more restfully and deeply than those who did not. Finally, if you don't have access to peaceful music, filtering out any noise may help you fall asleep sooner and sleep more soundly. Number 9. Work out during the day. Physical activity is frequently thought to be advantageous to a good night's sleep. Exercise can improve sleep length and quality by increasing serotonin production in the brain and decreasing cortisol levels, the stress hormone. It's vital, however, to stick to a moderate intensity workout plan and avoid overdoing it. Sleep deprivation has been linked to excessive training. As a result, getting some moderate to vigorous activity in the morning can increase the quality of your sleep as well as the amount of sleep you get. Get active by doing things like running, Hiking, cycling, tennis. Number 10. Make yourself at home. 
A good mattress and bedding can make a big difference in the amount and quality of sleep you get. A medium firm mattress has been demonstrated to improve sleep quality while also preventing sleep disruptions and muscle pain. It's also important to consider the quality of your cushion. It may have an impact on the curve of the neck, temperature, comfort, Orthopedic pillows may be better for sleep quality than feather or memory foam pillows, according to a small study. Additionally, using a weighted blanket can help you sleep better by reducing physical stress. Finally, the fabric of your bedclothes can influence how well you sleep. It's critical that you wear soft, comfortable clothes that allows you to maintain a comfortable temperature throughout the night. Last but not least, not only is it inconvenient to have difficulties falling and staying asleep, but it can also have a negative impact on your mental and physical health. Using the tips outlined above can assist you in falling asleep quickly, sleeping well, and having more energy the next day. Do you sleep well every night? Do you often have a nightmare? How many hours do you sleep each night? Write your comment below. Click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.